All righty. All right, time for sports and the law with our guy Steve Moskowitz. This from the USA Today on March 17th. Antitrust attorney Jeffrey Kessler filed a class action suit Monday in federal court against the NCAA and the five richest college conferences on behalf of college football and men's basketball players. The suit seeks an injunction to prevent the enforcement of NCAA rules limiting the amount of financial aid players can receive. In essence, it would allow them to be paid. All right, so let's bring in Steve Moskowitz on this one. We're going to get some Warriors information before we get off the air, but I want to jump right to the story. What's this lawsuit claiming, Steve? This is a good one. And a the good one. And the reason I like it so much, this is the same attorney that brought free agency to the NFL. Basically, he's bringing free agency to the college level and saying, look, what, what I've been saying all along, you're making a fortune off these kids. What you're doing now is basically a conspiracy to not pay them and you're going to have to bid for him like anybody else. It's a real good win. Also, he has a junior in there, so you have somebody that's still playing rather than somebody I played some years ago. All right, what does he need to do to make this a class action suit? Right now, it's just claiming these guys at this point. He has to show that the class would be somewhat similar. They had damages. And here, these are better than the other ones we talked about. And the reason is you have a whole bunch of players who say, well, yeah, you know, I really should have been paid. I should be making more, but I, I was capped out at, at room and board. Here, he's got a good shot. I like this one. All right, you, so you think they've got a shot on this a one? A good shot. All right, well, how about this one? He's got football and men's basketball, but isn't that discrimination? Where are the women on this? Or where's the Olympic sports in this one, the smaller sports being well, represented? Here, we have to watch out for Title IX. Take a look at... That's where women's sports have That's to be very equal. good. That's very good. I didn't think sports. of the Title IX. That's a good angle. And let's take a look at Stanford women's basketball. They have a great program. Look at their coach. So what you want to say is say, well, wait a minute. Let's talk about allocations. If the school is allocating money under Title IX, we should be allocating equally to the men and women. The way around that is you have some private donor who says, well, I'm not the institution. I can give the money to anybody I please, and I choose this group but not that group. But if we're talking about payment to athletes, isn't a full-ride scholarship payment to an athlete? I would have loved to have had them pay for my college. I'm sure you would have loved to have your college pay paid what for. Happened? Minimum wage is payment, too. The problem <laughs> is it's not enough. What do you mean? It's I'm not full? enough. These kids are giving up their lives, and these kids are getting paid nowhere near what they're worth. I will give some credit to the attorney, Mr. Kessler, in this one. He says, quote, he just wants to change the system. He's not looking for damages. So how much of a negotiation will go on so that the system gets changed, or is he just making a PR stunt? This guy wants the money in the end. You're going to get the money through having the students getting paid for their services. That's why it's better than the other ones. He's not looking to be bought off for some money. He's looking really to change the system. And again, go back to the NFL. That was a big deal when he changed that with pre agency. Give me an idea of what it means, though. Are, are we talking about schools putting up for bid the quarter, like, oh, there's a quarterback. We'll give you a full ride and a car. We'll give you a full ride and $1,000 a week. What, do you, what kind of negotiations are we talking about? Just like any other business or the NFL, you t and just like our capitalistic society, you're entitled to be paid what you're worth. And, and let's face it, some athletes are worth a lot more than others, just like in the pros. All right, but, and you, you're saying a full paid education, or even a half paid education, doesn't count. It's not nearly enough. Look at the money the schools are bringing in. And by the way, talking about education, Look how many coaches get paid way more than the chancellor of the university. Sports is where the money is. Sports is where the money is, but sports also brings more applications to schools. It puts more eyeballs on that school. You might not think about going to that school, but they've got a good basketball team in the tournament right now. Jim, we live in a free market economy. Do what we the, really? What are, the, what are the schools? Commies? Is it? No, no, we can't pay. It's, it's the purity. <laughs> this is a free market economy, and this is basic capitalism, and these kids should learn it now. All right, Steve, we got some work to do. There's Warriors news out front here, and on Sportsnet Central, they're going to have more of it, involving Andrew Bogut and also Jermaine O'Neal. And I know that we've got... We, Bogut will be game time decision. O'Neal will dress and available. But what do we got coming up? Don't touch that dial. That's I'm it. and Aaron are going to blow you away. They are going to blow you away because they've got all the latest, and they'll go to Oracle Arena and talk to Monty Poole and have more on this breaking warrior situation as they get ready for the Bucks. Stephen Moskowitz, Always great work.